Marcy. Oh, nobody's seen him. He hasn't rung in. Not yet. Oh, Christ. Something wrong? Yes, wrong. More wrong. Can I get you a drink? No. Can you try ringing him on your mobile? If you get through, don't say I'm here. Just hand it to me. Does not from Stevenage mean anything? Straight to voicemail. Shall I leave a message, Linda? Is she there? You wouldn't believe what he's just done. Now, if I say it, I'll scream. You know he's got a prescription made out to you. Has he? Diazepam, Valium. Right. I don't use him anymore. And, well, he, he seemed to be all over the place. That prescription's only three days old. It's a repeat. Never cancelled it. My landlady, she's a bit... Well, thanks for trying, Marcy. But it isn't helping a bit. Opposite, if anything. So do us a favour and keep him to yourself. What's not from Stevenage? <laughs> it's my mum's joke. Only funny if you know her. If you see him before me, give him a bang in the head. Two, if he stands still long enough. Just texted Linda. Just texted. I think I'd better go on and face the music. I think you know. No, she hasn't. No. Show me. Show me. All right, she's not. But I'm, I, I can't sit in bars. I, I have showers. I do showers. I am not going out till I know you're in there. Nobody's watching. Nobody's peeping. Nobody's interested. But if you don't relax, you're going to pop. If you drop dead while you're standing, no way am I shifting any more bodies. I just move out and leave you to rot, and then you'll look a mess. No. Some food here when you've had your bath. Mm. Make sure you shut the front door properly when you go out. You really have to pull it. Music's nice. See it work. Wish your friend a happy birthday. Greg, don't take your coat off. Hi. I've got my name down for a game of snooker at ten. You fancy getting thrashed? You know what? No. Where have you been? I've been in London um, after a bit of business that uh, normally Martin would have um, followed up. But it obviously went well because... Um, fancy some of this? Yeah. Why not? It's, it's not the usual kind of order, see? Bit more money, bit of a challenge, then. I'm talking about the house. We can't afford to string this mortgage out. No, well, maybe we can. See if this comes off. Help yourself. Should pocket a fair whack. Say, um, 120 grand. <sighs> Jesus. Profit? Oh, how's that possible? Are you sure? Dead sure. Yeah. Wouldn't you be better stashing that to make a move, Greg? Well, not. Tipping good money after bad. Bad meaning what, Danny? Oh, come on, Greg. I mean, bottomless and pit not ringing any bells at all. Well, the house is nearly finished. It's only nearly finished because I couldn't earn enough to um, 
finish it and um, well now I can just did so cheers you um you heard about Martin's inquest Wednesday at two uh, need me back in London for an 11 o'clock Wednesday oh no but that's all right now because the inquest crucial and, and um, a41 fairly clear midday fine no Wednesday's fine Right, cheers. Well, his secretary thinks he is coming. Oh, you go ahead. I'll wait for Martin's dad. He won't want to go in his own. Okay. I've tried WD 40, nothing. Where's the mobile off? No battery. I must have left the charger at the office or, or somewhere. Greg, you can't not go to the inquest. We need to know what's said. Well, what can I do if the car is dead and the, and the breakdown guy is going, well, we'll be about an hour every time I ring him? I know you're lying. You could have been into a garage and got yourself a car charger. See, that's why you... Isn't it? Is it? Only you think of things like that. That's why I'm what? Well, you're special. Special? That is not special, Greg. It's bloody basic. It's a basic bloody mistake. Yeah, and you stop me making them. I have to. For my sake. Well, I see. I can't sit there pretending to cry for him. It wouldn't be fair to ask me. But why don't you just ring the court and find out? trying to contact you. I know, Stan. I'm sorry. I just need to know whether you got my letter. Letter? I posted it on Monday. Uh, when I came to Devon with Martin, we should have said then, I'm married, Stan. I wasn't invited. Not to Martin. I see. I'm married to Greg. Greg Brentwood, Martin's business partner. That must have caused a bit of static. Nobody knows. I just needed you to know that I wasn't messing Martin around. I loved him, Stan. I really loved him. Nobody knows, so I need... I wonder if I could ask you not... I might be deaf. I'm not stupid. Why don't you come down to Devon so we could talk about him properly, eh? I'd really like that. The emergency call was received at 0610 on the 30th from the Fairs Fair taxi company. Oh, my apologies, but the directions were bloody awful. Please proceed, Constable. And a little louder, if possible. The vehicle, a Maroon Triumph Vitesse, registration BWJ160H, was in the latter stages of incineration, having gone off the road. But professional accident investigators found no evidence of collision, nor vehicle braking defects. Speculations are that the early frost could have melted, taking crucial indications of the driver's reactions with it. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, statements taken from the taxi driver, Derek Wells. His alarm call to his controller said, a car's gone off the road on the magic mile. I think there's someone in there. And his passenger, a Marcia Burgess, independently repeated the same assumption, that the vehicle appeared to have shot off the road. That was the consensus. Uh, you'll have to take the one in the front, love. You're the driver from the inquest. I so, yeah. Are you family? The passenger, Marcia Budges. What did she look like? Darkish, quietish. Dullish. Where was she coming from? Um, 
outside the Black Horse. What time was that? <laughs> I had to do all this when my mother died. I had to know every last detail. Who smelt gas first, said what, did what, saw her last. <sighs> can take over your life, you know. Yeah. Uh, my best advice to... Accidental um, death, uh, very dignified. See your boss. <clears throat> Earlier than I said, there was a train just waiting to go out. The lady who interviewed me said that if I could be here for four, the job was mine. Unless it's not. Hiya. Sorry I can't take the call. As soon as I'm free, I'll get straight back. How long have you been tamping, Berna? Eight years. Ever left a job with two hours' notice? No. What's your agency? Frederick Ball. Phone them. I want Marcia Burgess's home address. Pamela, Berna. Have you got an address for the woman who had this placement before I thought Where is he, Eugene? Of course I know. Did Marcy say anything to anybody about leaving? Well, not to me and the lads, no. Mrs. Brentwood, Marcia Burgess didn't come from our agency. Sorry. Yeah. See you then. 